This video is about glomerular filtration. So how the process of filtration takes place by the glomerulus. So where the glomerulus is located, glomerulus is the part of the nephron and nephrons are that makes up the kidneys. So the main filtration organs in the human body are the kidneys. As the blood enters in the kidneys for the purpose of uh, filtration that the blood or uh, that 20 percent of the blood that's coming from the heart from the uh, renal through the renal artery total 20 percent to 25 percent of the blood for the purpose of filtration so the blood is filtered the waste products and the excess amount of water uh, is converted or is removed in the form of the urine from the body so this filtration basically takes place inside the kidneys the main organs in the human body are the kidneys so the kidneys as a uh, structure is composed of two main parts, cortex and medulla. So the cortex and medulla and these kidneys have the multiple structural and functional units known as nephron. So nephron are the basic structural and functional unit that perform the basic functions and that are involved in the formation of the urine that remove the waste products from the body. So nephron is consists of the two parts, tubular portion and the uh, renal corpuscle. So this is this is the first part of the nephron that is involved in the formation of the filtrate. So how the formation or how the process of the filtration takes place by the by these nephrons. So the first part of the nephron that is the renal corpuscle that consists of the glomerulus and the Bowman's capsule. So these are the main filtration structures that are involved in the process of the filtration and that are involved in the formation of the filtrate. So as the blood coming from the efferent arteriole then divides into the capillaries and then uh, they are leaving through the efferent arteriole. So from the blood, the small particles, the solutes, the plasma and the water, excess water, they are filtered out from the glomerulus into the Bowman's capsule, or you can say the glomerular capsule. So leaving the blood components and the other cells are not filtered out from these small pores. So all the um, plasma is filtered from the glomerular capillaries, they form the filtrate, and then filtrate then enters into the tubular portion of the nephron from where the other excess substances are absorbed. And first part of the nephrons are the renal corpuscle that composed of two structures, glomerulus and Bowman's capsule. So the blood entering into the glomerulus, um, they are filtered, um, the plasma is filtered, the plasma and soluble substances, and they enter into the Bowman's capsule where they form the filtrate. So the blood that is filtered out in the form of plasma that contains the soluble substances, all the small soluble substances and the plasma and the blood, they are filtered out while leaving the cell components, the cell components. So this plasma concentration will be equal on the both sides to maintain the hemostasis of the body. So this, all the fil uh, are filtered in the form of the filtrate and these filtrate then move down into the tubules. And from these tubules, the, sol the useful substances are again reabsorbed into the blood, depends on the need of the body and all other waste products are removed in the form of the urine. So while they are the efferent arteriole that carries the blood and then they divide into tiny capillaries and then leaving through the efferent arteriole. So all these processes takes place. There are two main mechanisms or two main factors that regulate this glomerular, glomerular filtration. So what are these two factors that regulate this glomer, uh, glomerular filtration? That the plasma is filtered out from this blood into the Bowman's capsule, and that contains the same concentration on both sides. In the glomerular capillaries and the Bowman capsule, the concentration of the uh, plasma will be the same because it has to maintain the homeostasis of the body. To maintain the homeostasis of the body, they, they, they must be in equal quantity. So when they move down into the tubular portion, the other useful substances, about 99% of the useful substances are reabsorbed into the blood circulation and they provide into the body. So as we are studying the process of 
glomerular filtration so it means that the process of filtration that is carried out by the this glomerulus so when the blood is filtered out as the blood is coming from the renal renal artery the uh, it's almost 20 to 25% of the cardiac output blood enters into the kidney so when the blood enters the incoming arteriole or you can say the efferent arteriole that takes up the blood and then uh, form into the tuft of capillaries known as the glomerulus the blood is filtered out so the blood is filtered out uh, in the form of the plasma so the, when it is filtered out then they form the plasma like filtrate of the blood so the so to maintain the homeostasis of the body as to keep all the uh, amounts like solutes and the concentration of solute and the concentration of water in the body and electrolytes in the body in a normal range so for this the excess amount of solutes or water has to be eliminated out of the body so they are eliminated in the body so they will be filtered out from this glomerular uh filtrate filtration uh, and then they form the filtrate so there are two factors that regulate this filtrate or the filtration process the first is the increased permeability of glomerular capillary walls so increased cap permeability of glomerular capillary walls it means that when the blood enters into these capillaries so these as uh, these um, the walls of these capillaries contains the pores so these pores allow the passage of substances and the uh, solutes to pass through these and enter into the bowman's capsule so as these lining they are composed of the endothelial cells and these also contains the podocytes that allow the passage of all substances to pass through it except the large the plasma proteins that uh, are larger in size they will not pass through it they will not cross through it and all other substances will be passed through it so as it composed of the podocytes so podocytes that they has the pedicles or the foot like cytoplasmic extensions that will uh, prevent the passage of large substances to pass through it and all the plasma and other soluble solutes and water will be easily passed through it so in this uh, uh, nephrons as there is no exchange of gases takes place and no exchange of large molecules pass through it but very small solute electrolytes and water and plasma will pass through it just to maintain the normal homeostasis of the body that in the body the electrolyte solutes and uh, concentration must be in a normal range so the excess amount of to maintain that normal range to maintain that homeostasis the excess amount of substances uh, has to be eliminated of the body so they will be filtered out from the blood and will be managed and their values will be managed in the body through excretion from the body so the next uh, the first is the increased permeability of glomerular capillaries so as the concentration of the solutes and the plasma will be equal on both sides will be equal on uh, both sides um, and then the second is the the elevated blood pressure in the glomeruli it is also known as the hydrostatic pressure of the glomeruli so how this elevated pressure like how the filtrate is formed we say that there is the increase permeability of the glomerular capillaries we see that how the increased permeability permeability is because of the pores uh, and the spaces uh, the minute pores and spaces that are present in um, the filtration membrane as we said about filtration membrane that the two filtration membrane are present in the glomeruli and one filtration membrane is present in the bowman's capsule so because of the permeability like they contains the pores and their structure uh, is like that they allow the passage of substances to pass through it and then the other the second point is the elevated blood pressure so how the blood pressure is responsible for the formation of the filtrate uh, in this um, in this structure in this uh, glomeruli or bowman's capsule so elevated blood pressure as um, this point is basically is for the efferent arteriole and efferent arteriole there is a difference in the diameter of both of these arterioles the efferent arteriole diameter is larger than the efferent arteriole this efferent arteriole diameter is smaller and this efferent arteriole diameter is larger so because of the larger diameter of the arteriole the large amount of blood enters into these capillaries while when leaving it has the small route for leaving the blood so the efferent arteriole diameter is less is and the it's the efferent arteriole diameter is large so the large blood enters but while leaving the capillaries it the small um, the blood um, 
the entry route for the blur is thin, is small, is because the diameter of the efferent arteriole is less than that of the efferent arteriole. So it will create a pressure inside these capillaries. So this pressure as the, uh, the large amount of uh, volume, because the large volume of the blood will enter while leaving the blood, the small volume will leave. So this large volume entering and the small volume leaving, it will create a hydrostatic pressure, like it will elevate the pressure. It will uh, create the pressure. So because of this pressure, the it also um, allows the passage of substances or allow the passage of plasma to pass through it. So it will also form the formation of the filtrate. So this is also the, uh, the one uh, other step that are involved in the filtration. So this is how the blood is filtered out from the glomerular into the Bowman's capsule. So this, this step is also involved in the formation of the filtrate. So this was, this lecture was all about the filtration process. The next uh, video is about the glomerular filtration rate, that how, uh, that at which rate this glomerular filtration um, or this glomerular filtrate is formed, that what are the quantities and at which rate this filtrate is formed.